Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here and welcome to the channel. The more games you see, the more you learn to appreciate things. Round 37 has just finished and with, what do I see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven draws. Just look at how fire clinches a last minute win from Nemorina. Fire is rated at 36.13, Nemorina 37.01. Don't pay attention to any of these elos when it comes to engine play. Let me cut right to the chase here. This game was insane. It started with the Miran. It went into the anti Miran. And this is a position after move 92. Move 92 by Nemorino. I used to go with his king response to get the king out of any unpleasant force. So this makes perfect sense with the king being moved is one very tricky position. Fire has two very important pawns that are thirsty for promotion. This guy in a6 is going nowhere, but this king side guy goes everywhere. Fire to move, pushed on with this guy. But do remember the starting position before the black king reposition to be three was essential and has nothing to do with this potential of 4 queen 3 Why? Because the knight is pinned. Another idea is to... is that if the king was on c2, he would only be able to eliminate this pawn on a6 with the queen. This was not the problem, but look what followed. Now we're able to move, went for this move. Clearly, their ideas of wanting to promote on this side of the board. Again, if the white king was not on the first, white well, would have gone for this nasty pin on d2. So, how far I played it, I was to go for this discovered check. And the problems intensify here. If king b2, white well, promotes with a check, and there is no way out. This is where the king went. And what do you think happened here? Should you promote this guy on c2 also transforms into a brand new queen and black is the side that wins easily. It's all about this pin on the knight as there are three pieces attacking and only two defending. Let's come back to this king move to the rim. Fire doesn't promote that goes for this pawn push on the other side of the board. There are just about six remaining moves here. So let's do this the other way around. Let's go through the action moves first and let's see how engines can blunder. Rook takes check and queen takes led to king b2. And from a 0 0 0 situation, Nemorino registers on his radar a mating 6. H8, queen check, king b3, another check, queen b4, this check on d3, king back to the rim, and when this guy on c2 came off, with a fresh check, once the king was forced to the very first rank, queen e5 is a mate in one, but so was this promotion on the queen side. After queen a5, only now the game came to a close. I am puzzled for a number of reasons. And maybe the organizers need to introduce some changes. It's good to see a game going all the way to a checkmate. And I'm sure this is what many people want to see. Why was this game in fact allowed to go all the way and others not? Number two is probably a more important point to stress. And in order to validate it, we need to come back to this position. If you remember, the queen did remove the rook from f1. And obviously, Nemorino blunders here with a king move and drops yet another game in forwards. So how does a drawn game lead to mate in six moves? Why didn't the queens come off? And why did Nemorino call in with a check? King g2, another queen check through c6. And should you go f3, is there any way 
this queen can hold for very hungry pawns. The queen by itself would not be able to do it unless the king begins to go 180. At least black has a very strong case for a draw. Okay, but obviously this never happened. So what do you think prompted this king move to be two, allowing a checkmate to be locked in in X number of moves? It's something I mentioned previously. The only reason for this unforgivable blunder comes down to time or the lack of it. Nemorin was down to his last 29 seconds and Fire was not much better. Fire had 50 seconds remaining and still was able to finish off in style. But if this blunder by Nemorino didn't take place, this game would have ended in yet another draw. Nemorino, in fact, has blundered in many previous games. And there is no surprise it is in position 14 out of 16. Given it belongs where Arasan is, maybe the biggest surprise is fire. Rated at 36.13, it is now jumping into second place and is above one, two, three, four, five, six, seven engines that outrank fire by at least 200 points. The case with Fistball 2 is another story. Does anyone know what these guys are doing on the board? Many engines have blundered, and the Marino is definitely one of them. The Marino at last starts very well, and it's not until it reaches the end game where things begin to backfire, and they do begin to backfire big time. There was no need to cover this game in full, but it goes back to what I said earlier. Too many blunders by numerous engines, and the Marino is no exception. I will be back with more. So, I'm choosing everyone. This is your chess puzzler.